the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 326, Acts chapter 18, verse 23 to chapter 19. Paul's third missionary journey. With the hope to preach the gospel in Rome, Paul stayed in Ephesus for two years and not the disciples for the kingdom of God. First point. During Paul's third missionary journey, Paul wrote 1 and 2 Corinthians in Ephesus and the Lord to Romans in Corinth. Paul's third missionary journey, which ended in Jerusalem, took place between AD 53 and 57, so approximately four years. This third journey looked back at the places visited during the first and second journeys, and in particular, two years were spent in Ephesus. In Ephesus, Paul wrote 1 and 2 Corinthians, and then he headed to Corinth, where he wrote Romans. Second point, Priscilla and Aquila, who were Paul's fellow workers, helped the Apollos to work in the Corinthian church. During Paul's second missionary journey, he met a few people who came to believe in Jesus and also came to support Paul's missionary. Around the time Paul went to Ephesus, there was a man named Apollos who came from Alexandria to teach the scriptures to the Jews. Apollos was a fine orator. He was well versed in the scriptures, but he had only been taught up to the point of John the Baptist and was yet to be updated on Jesus' cross, resurrection and ascension into heaven. Therefore, when Apollos met Priscilla and Aquila, they updated him about Jesus' final ministry. When Apollos was fully updated, Priscilla and Aquila sent Apollos to the Corinthian church that was lacking a preacher. At first, all was going well, but then a few problems occurred in the Corinthian church. And so Apollos went to seek Paul. Paul tried to send Apollos back to the Corinthian church, but Apollos really did not want to go back. Because of this, Paul wrote 1 and 2 Corinthians. Third point. Similar to the time, 120 people experienced the wonders of the Holy Spirit in Mark's attic. This occurred again to 12 people in Ephesus. During Paul's third missionary journey, there occurred an amazing spiritual experience in Ephesus. The reason Paul went to Ephesus was because he wished to return after visiting there during his second missionary journey. Paul came to find that in Ephesus, 12 people were having a spiritual experience, similar to when 120 people gathered in Mark's attic to experience the Holy Spirit. Fourth point, during Paul's second missionary journey, he established the Corinthian church for a year and a half, and then, during his third missionary journey, he established Ephesians Church for three years. The highlight of Paul's third missionary journey was in Ephesus, where he was able to nurture disciples. Prior to this, Paul had gone to meet the Jews in Ephesus by preaching in the synagogue there for three months. A few men opposed Paul's missionary and forced him to stop, but this rather led to the making of disciples. Fifth point. In the Corinth trial, Governor Gallio gave a favorable ruling to Paul, and in Ephesus, the head clerk gave a favorable ruling to Paul. Just before Paul left Ephesus, a great riot was brought by a silversmith named Demetrius. The reason for this riot was because this silversmith was concerned that Paul was driving him out of business with his preaching, which meant that 
his Artemis statues were selling less. Demetrius wanted to seize Paul so that he would not be able to preach the gospel anymore. At this time, the head clock of Ephesus calmed this right and made the riot stop. The governor Galileo of Corinth had given Paul a favorable trial and helped him. The clock in Ephesus also helped Paul to avoid this rage. After this instant, Paul left Ephesus and headed towards Macedonia. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.